Hey guys, it's Landon Blake from Redefined Horizons, and in this video I want to answer three questions about property corner monuments. Uh, when you're drafting a boundary survey, there's there's three or four questions that you want to ask. So I'm putting this video together for my cat ninja, Elena, and for my cat ninja in training, Austin. Uh, I want them, as they're they're drawing these survey maps, I want to I want them to do more than just draw. I also want them to learn about what it is they're drawing and to ask some questions that can kind of help them start on their journey to be in a good boundary surveyor. So when you're drafting a boundary survey map as a technician or if you're a surveyor in training and you're putting together a boundary resolution, what are three or four questions that you want to ask about each property corner monument that was found on your survey? So let's let's go through the list. Okay, so the first question you want to ask is, what did we find? And that sounds like a simple question, uh, but it's not <laughs> always simple. <laughs> and uh, the reason it's not always simple is sometimes there's there's not always great communication between the field and the office. So uh, you need to look at a couple different things. You need to look at what's the description in the point. Okay, so usually we're looking at a, at a point in, in an AutoCAD drawing. Uh, but you don't want to rely on that. You also want to check the field notes, right? Does the description in the field notes match the description in the, uh, the, the point object in, in CAD. And if they don't match, then you have to stop and ask questions. And then even if they do match, uh, there's, you know, you need to drill down a little bit sometimes. Um, sometimes field crews can be sloppy or, or lazy. Um, so for example, the field crew might say uh, in their field notes and in their description, found iron pipe. Okay, well that's great. Uh, it's good to know that it's an iron pipe, but we need some more information. Uh, what was the diameter of the iron pipe? Was it a three-quarter inch iron pipe or a two-inch iron pipe? Was it set at the surface or was it below the surface? Or if you're in the mountains, maybe they found it six inches above the surface. Uh, was there a cap or a tag or a washer wired to the monument? What was the stamping on the cap or the tag? What condition was the pipe in? Was it bent? Was it straight? Was it rusted? Uh, what was the pipe next to? Was it next to a fence corner? Was it next to a building? Was it next to a mo another monument? Was it next Was it next to a rock mound? Um, so those are all questions that you want to ask when you're considering what did we find. So that's question number one. What did we find? Question number two is a little simpler. Did it match the record description? So did the object we find excuse me, did the object we found in our field survey, does that object match the description in the record? Now, what do I say when I mean record? Well, it could be a couple different things. It could be the description of the monument in a deed. It could be a description of the monument on one or more survey maps, okay? So what we wanna, what we wanna know then is, I, I'll give you an example. We found a two inch iron pipe, okay? But the deed calls out a two inch iron pipe with a yellow plastic cap stamped LS8489. Okay, so that's good. We've got a partial match there, but then we need to ask some other questions. Is it possible the cap got removed? Uh, or is it possible this is a uh, this is a, a, a different pipe with the same diameter, but it's not the same monument? Uh, so you need, you need to do a little digging, right? And so in order to do that, you gotta be able to access the deed and the other maps that might describe that monument. And so you wanna know, does it match? Or does it not match? Or is it a partial match? And you should be able to answer those questions. Okay, here's the, th here's the third question you want to ask about every property corner monument on the survey that you found. Okay, you want to know what's the history of this monument. Okay, so you need to understand some things about this monument. I'm going to give you a list of four kind of sub-questions you want to ask. So, who set that monument? Right, what was the surveyor's name? What was the company name? When did it get set? Okay, w w was it... 20 years ago, two years ago, or 100 years ago? Those are important questions. Why did the monument get set? Was it replacing another monument that was missing? Was it marking a new original corner? Was it, uh, you know, set in the middle of a rock mound that was a section corner? Uh, so you need to know why did the surveyor set the monument? Then you need to know, then you want to ask, how do I know this information about the monument, right? In other words, what was your source? Um, where did you where did you get the history of the monument? So typically that's going to be a filed survey map, but could be another deed, uh, could be some field notes, some old county field notes 
There's all kinds of places where you could get that information, but you should make a note of that. Okay, and then finally, the last question you want to ask, after you've asked all those other questions, the first three, you want to find, you want to ask, did we find the monument in the correct location, right? In other words, is the location we found the monument, does it match historical measurements? Did we find it in the record position? And that could be its own video, but that, that's a question that you want to ask. I need to remember to do another video about that. So, but you notice, I put that question last, and that's the question that most surveyors put first. And the, the problem with that is, because we're surveyors, we fall in love with our ability to measure. And really, when it comes to boundary surveying, evaluation of your physical evidence is oftentimes more important than your measurement. So I encourage you, surveyors in training, CAD ninjas, start with the first three questions. Evaluate the physical evidence first, right? What did we find? Did it match the record description? What is the history of the monument? Then when you've answered all those questions, then the last thing you look at is, did we find the monument in the correct location? Do our measurements for that monument's position match the historical, historical measurements? So get in the habit as you're drafting a boundary survey map, you know, you're taking your CAD drawing, maybe with some initial line work and some, some points that represent property corner monuments. Ask those three or four questions, right? What did we find? Did it match the record description? What's the history of the monument? And did we find it in the correct location? If you can start to do those things, you'll be on the way. You will, you will have begun your journey from CAD Ninja to actual boundary surveyor.